Okay, we're going to begin by doing some duality theory. We're going to use the envelope results on the following expenditure min problem. We want to minimize, minimize over the variables x and y, and they have to be greater than or equal to zero. The expenditure PXX plus PYY. Um, subject to the constraint that we're on the particular indifference curve, U of X, Y equals U bar. U bar indexes the um, level of satisfaction. So first we will um, derive the first order conditions for this problem by forming the Lagrangian L. L is the objective function PXX plus PYY appended with a Lagrange multiplier multiplying the constraint U bar minus U of XY. Okay, and let's assert that we have an interior solution. We can do Kuhn-Tucker theory for corners, but let's just do an interior solution here. And then the first order conditions are L sub X is P sub X. Um, I made a little blunder here. Let's make an erasure and then get back to this P sub X minus mu U sub X equals zero. So that's the partial of Lagrangian with respect to X. L sub Y, the partial of Lagrangian with respect to Y, is P sub Y minus mu U sub Y. That equals zero. And then we take the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to the multiplier, um, mu, I tapped the wrong part of my pen, sorry, and that gives us back the constraint, u bar minus u equals zero. Okay, now the um, solution to this problem, which we denote xh, yh, and mu h, that is the solution, the h stands for Hicksian demands, these are the Hicksian compensated demands, um, these are not the Marshallian demands which satisfy the utility max problem, this is an expenditure min problem, um, but they are related and we'll see how they're related a little bit later. Um, these Hicksian demands have some nice properties and that's why we study them. Um, they are characterized by these first order conditions and now what we can do is define the expenditure function E as the value of expenditure at the Hicksian demands. So it's PXXH plus PYYH and um, that is also the value of the Lagrangian at the Hicksian demands and I'm going to append the multiplier mu h and the constraint u bar minus u of x h y h. So this is actually identically true so we write this with three bars um, And the reason we can write this with three bars is because the Hicksian demands always satisfy the constraint, so this third term really is always zero, and therefore the second line equals the first line. The envelope theorem itself says the following result. So this messy thing, E sub PX, actually is equal to XH, and E sub PY is equal to YH. This is the envelope theorem and is the key result. And after a little pause, we'll actually show why that is true. <laughs> 